The personal jetpack has long been the stuff of childhood dreams. It's also been an icon of popular culture from James Bond to the Rocketeer and an endless stream of magazine covers. I think everyone wants to have access to, to true human personalized flight. But for the most part, the personal jetpack has remained a curiosity, a piece of technology that always seems close but never becomes quite real. But that could be changing. Lately, the jetpack has made a startling return, with several companies and maverick inventors rekindling the dream. A lot of the things that simply weren't possible 10, 20 years ago are now relatively off-the-shelf technologies. The flight control systems, the ability to stabilize, GPS. And one company in particular is hoping to be the first to bring a practical personal flying system to market. This is Martin Jetpack in Christchurch, New Zealand. The jetpack they're building here may not look like what you'd expect, but one thing about it sets it apart from almost every model that came before it. It's a real product that will do real work. I think it's as close as you can really get to flying yourself, short of jumping out an aircraft in a wingsuit. Martin's Jetpack is a big step forward in a history that goes back 50 years. The earliest jetpacks were built for the military in the 1960s and 70s. After that, various inventors built models as well, performing stunts like this one at the 1984 Olympics in Los Angeles. And this was quite good at entertaining a crowd and doing short little flights. But they all had a major flaw. They could only fly for about 30 seconds. That meant those jetpacks were just for show. You couldn't actually use them to do anything. If you're sucking all your gas tank dry in 30 seconds, then it's not a really useful vehicle means of conveyance. Things really didn't change much for decades. Then in 2016, a company called Jetpack Aviation showed off a jetpack that flew around the Statue of Liberty. The company says their newest model can fly up to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, at Martin Jetpack, Ben Taylor says that isn't nearly enough. To be practical, you've got to be looking at a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes flight time. And to develop that much power, to generate that much lift, efficiently enough to carry enough fuel is a very difficult thing to do. Taylor says the Martin jetpack can fly for up to 30 minutes, long enough to perform actual work rather than just being a flying novelty. That's a big leap forward. 30 minutes of flying time at 30 knots is 15 miles or so of straight line flying. This is a far greater distance than, than any other jetpack. The Martin Jetpack may be available as early as 2023. It's intended to perform rescue missions. An example of how it would be used would be in the case of a uh, fire. It may enable them to get in and get tools to an area quickly or to get themselves in to, to rescue people. That means it isn't likely that you'll have one in your garage. The company's strategy right now is to initially target first responders, the firefighters, the airmen, the sailors, the marines. This is Paco Ubereta, a Martin Jetpack test pilot. He's flown the new machine dozens of times. The computerized stabilizers, he says, make it very easy to control. It's almost the mix of riding a motorcycle and piloting with a blend of surfing. We don't want to make this an aircraft that requires months and years of training. We want to make this an aircraft where everyone can eventually get to it. The company is also working on autonomous flight so that the machine will fly itself. This really creates the opportunity to take additional equipment, tools into a hazardous area and also it really opens up the potential to get people out. So we can put somebody on board without them needing to fly it. Some may argue that the Martin Jetpack isn't really a jetpack at all and that weighing over 700 pounds it's a far cry from something you can strap on your back. But to those who have been waiting decades for personal flight, it comes pretty close. I think that the Martin Jetpack does achieve a goal of enabling personal flight with a very personal vehicle and a very personal flying experience. I would say that these days they're probably setting, setting the benchmark of, of what is possible. So perhaps the Rocketeer style jetpack is still a ways off. While technology has brought rapid change, the laws of physics remain the same. Humans are not getting any lighter. 
gravity is not getting any weaker, and the air is still going to stay about the same density. But what also isn't changing is human ingenuity. The Martin jetpack represents a pretty dramatic step forward, and there's no reason to think more aren't coming eventually. One day, the personal jetpack might be more than just a childhood dream.